Hi, it's Vishali. I'm at Stanford Bridge. Now, I know a few of you were asking why there weren't any video blogs in the week. Unfortunately, I had a few issues, but I am back with another blog after Chelsea's goalless draw with Arsenal here at Stanford Bridge. Now, let's go back to the very beginning. Let's go back to the teams that both managers put out. Because, of course, Arsene Wenger decided to keep Alexis Sanchez on the bench for this game. Um, he didn't have Ozil, of course, because of a knee injury. Uh, while Antonio Conte, he uh, decided not to hand Eden Hazard his first start of the season, but he instead had him on the bench. And he started Fabregas in midfield next to Kante, Willian and Pedro, um, either side of Alvaro Morata. And I think you have to say, in the first sort of, was well, that in the opening stages of the game, Chelsea were by far the more comfortable comfortable of the two sides um, but Arsenal began to grow into the game and I felt that that kind of came about after Bellerin um, began to win the battle with Marcus Alonso down this left flank here um, you know I think there were two moments in that first half where he um, outpaced Alonso crossed the ball in and they nearly led to really good chances uh, in front of goal for Arsenal and you know their confidence grew and Chelsea all, you know, they kind of retreated and they kind of went on to the back foot. Uh, Pedro did have a really good chance, uh, which, um, you know, down the other end, uh, that check saved, uh, while uh, Arsenal had a really, really good chance uh, to open the scoring when Aaron Ramsey saw his shot um, rebound off the post. And that, you know, so easily could have been the opener for Arsenal. Um, instead, uh, it ended goalless at half time and um, Conte reacted by bringing Pedro off, which we weren't sure why that happened initially. But Conte has now confirmed that, be uh, that Pedro picked up a, a, an ankle knock in the first half and he's not actually sure how bad it is so we'll have to see how that kind of goes whether or not he'll be fit enough to play against Nottingham Forest in the League Cup um, he also brought on Bakayoko and I, you know, I've been impressed with Bakayoko this season and I think you saw his quality today he looked you know he's just such a presence in midfield and he certainly helped uh, strengthen that midfield area for Chelsea when he came on um, Conte also brought on Eden Hazard um, for Willian, um, but Hazard, he couldn't make the difference. And I still think that, you know, Hazard's absence from this team is a big reason why they haven't, you haven't kind of seen the Chelsea of last season. Um, obviously, his return is really good news for Chelsea. And um, one piece of news for Chelsea fans going into that game with Nottingham Forest is that Conte has suggested that Hazard will start in the League Cup. So, that could be a huge boost for Chelsea in the coming weeks. Of course, they've got Stoke uh, away in the Premier League. They've also got Manchester City here in a couple of weeks. So if Hazard is fully fit by that Man City game, that's going to be a huge boost. Um, in terms of Alvaro Morata, Conte was full of praise for Morata afterwards, saying he was really happy with his performance. But you did see him get increasingly frustrated as the game went on. Because you have to give praise to Mustafi um, and Arsenal defence. They were superb. Mustafi, you know, he looked really, really good uh, up against Morata. He kept him quiet throughout the match. Um, and, you know, Mustafi actually thought he had scored a goal, but in fact it was offside. Um, so Arsenal ended the game. Uh, no, no, they couldn't actually, you know, walk away with all three points. But they did end that five-game losing streak here in West London. Huge, huge boost for them in the Premier League season. But for Chelsea, you know, the game ended in chaotic scenes. Uh, David Luiz was sent off for straight red card. Now, he was cautioned earlier on in the game uh, for that overhead kick on Koscielny, but he got a straight red card uh, for that foul on uh, Klasenak. And Wenger said that he thought it was certainly a red card. He said it was excessive force. Conte, he refused to comment on it, but he basically said he doesn't know whether or not Chelsea will now appeal that red card because, of course, if you know it stands, Luis will miss the game against Nottingham Forest. He'll miss the games against Stoke and Man City. And I think it was a real shame for Luis because, up until that point, he was one of Chelsea's best players on the pitch. So that's going to be a huge blow. But it does hand the chance to someone like Andrews Christensen to come back into starting line and show what he can do. Um, as for me. Um, I'm now away for a week, so there won't be any video blogs this week, but I'll be back for the Manchester City game uh, in the Premier League in a couple of weeks' time.